bunkers. I've lost count of the number of bunkers at Whistling Straits, but already it's been the host of several PGA Championships, so, so it's a test for the great players of the world. But really, you've got to tip your cap to the designer. Um, he'll tell you that building Whistling Straits was a, quote, once-in-a-lifetime thing. Uh, to see Lake Michigan around the golf course, it looks just like it's not real. Uh, it, it looks like you're playing on the moon sometimes. It's an amazing venue. Seems to like it. He's headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. Starting to move now, Frank, on this leaderboard. And another green in regulation. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Frank getting set for this approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player. It's obvious in full flight right now. It is. This is where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens. It just flows, and you don't really think about it. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. This is an 11-foot putt. Impressive move to three under for the tournament with that birdie. Well, Pete Dye just gives you so many different looks um, throughout the front nine of Whistling Straits, and, and this really is the first example of this, plus the, the swirling winds that are created by that sort of tree in the mounding on the right of the screen. Quite spectacular. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. The second shot. Offline, and, and I think that one's headed for the rough. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. This for par. No damage done. Made the par. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. 
just in the first cut of rough. Not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Yeah. Headed for the bunker? Oh, a bit unfortunate. Wasn't able to avoid the sand trap. And that one rolls just into the rough. Now you have to decide whether or not that ball's going to fly or not. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Settles in over the putt. Well, you think it's a snack. Green straight in front of you, points a little bit to the right, but just getting it and keeping it on the green, it takes some doing. It should be pretty good right there. We're on the safe side. That will be a great look at birdie. These putts keep the round together. Just a gentle dogleg to the right, or at least the hole moves to the right, plus the slope of the fairway, so you've got to aim left of center. Hazard? Maybe wet. Extra stroke added after going into the water. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop, this now the third shot. So Frank, he'll take a drop here. Yeah, he'll take his medicine, take his penalty shot. The hole's not over yet. Frank, that was a pretty tough lie out of the rough there. Yeah, it made that actually a little easier uh, than, than what it really is. It would have been too easy to uh, try and bite off more than you can chew. So I give him a pat on the back for that. Back in the fairway. Solid play, heart of the green. And he makes it for a bogey here. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. So a tester from four feet. Good job right there. Third round coverage of the PGA Championship. And it sets up to be another great major. Rich Lauder alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. And Frank, tell us a little bit about Whistling Straits. It's a peak die special, Rich and the golf course borders Lake Michigan. So you have these wonderful vistas, should you choose to look at that. But the course itself is almost like a lynx course, the way the holes uh, roll around in amongst these um, sand dunes or bunkers. Um, I've lost count of the number of bunkers. Uh, they're, I think, close to about a 1,000 bunkers out there. But the holes themselves are a genuine test. And um, it will reward a lengthy player. We've seen that in the past champions there. But uh, it's just a great test from the first hole to the 18th. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today.
Well, that's about, that's about it, because this green is one of the most undulating on the golf course. Uh, I doubt there's a flat spot on this green. This is a good looking shot. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Frank here at the 13th, it's pretty obvious where the trouble is. Yeah, all right, that's for sure. Plus Lake Michigan there if you go even further right. But at 402 yards, don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood. Three wooden a wedge would get you home here. So remember, fairway first, then set up the scoring chance. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Sit down, get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is gonna say, except him. Right about nine feet here to the hole. But it narrows up in the driving area. So really it's a layup off the tee, just a short iron in from there. Good contact, good result. Just a great pass at the golf ball, 310 yards, and in the fairway. Frank, with the drive off to the left side, what's the player looking at now? Well, a blind second shot, so you've got to pick one of those mounds in the distance to really focus on the line here. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. Well, that birdie has to feel even better. Final round coverage of the PGA Championship. Playing host to all the action. Going for a little extra. That is a heat-seeking missile right there. Wow. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Even par currently. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Settles in over the putt. Moves up into second place is a monster par five. They call it sandbox, but it is not exactly child's play, is it? No, I can't, I can't actually count the number of bunkers on this hole. Plus it's a dog leg to the right, 645 yards. I don't care whichever way you cut it down. That's gonna be three good shots forces you to hit driver off this tee. Just what you want in the right position on this par five in the fairway. Playing his second shot here at the par five. <laughs> Frank, this is a huge par five. How reachable is it? Well, probably chances of uh, getting home there. You're going to need something around the 340-yard mark off the tee. If you've done that, well, one thing to be aware of is that huge bunker, that huge deep bunker short left of this green. On the green in regulation. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. That would have been a real bonus had it dropped, but as it is, good putt. 
Shouldn't be a problem here. He had 163 yards. You wouldn't think it's very long, but really the problem is the green. You can pitch the ball in the middle of the screen and still it can kick over. So be very, very aware of the mounding and the undulations on this green. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Time to make yet another birdie. That is some good work right there. This par four, Frank, they lovingly call cliffhanger. How do you deal with these 402 yards, Frank? Really, you've got to pick a, a spot down the left side. Even where the rough is, isn't really such a bad line. Keep it down there, let everything kick to the right, but you have to avoid missing right here. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. And he's made it onto the green. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. I liked that. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, in the changing weather conditions, players have so many different options, don't they? Some might like to play it high. Others might want to play it a little lower and along the ground. You've really got to be on your toes today because of that, Rich. And really, that's what separates the men from the boys, so to speak. Um, you know that any mistake you make can obviously be magnified by, by the wind conditions. But conversely, it's a real good chance for skill to shine. Now a seven-footer. Oh, I thought he had that. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, <laughs> you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. The 15th now, and a 503-yard par four here at Whistling Straits. Well, it's certainly beautiful to look at, but tough to play. Bunkered once again, left and right but it's a hole that you have to hit a driver down here, just purely because of the length of the hole. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Looks primed right now. Well, this is the shortest of the four par fives at 568 yards. There's a big crop of bunkers down the right side. Just a driver off those is certainly going to make this par five reachable. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. And what a shot. Setting up for an eagle here. And getting ready for the putt. Oh my goodness, he missed it. He missed a bunny. That's like missing a layup in basketball. Now this for birdie, came away with par in the previous round. 250 yards, 17th hole, trouble everywhere. Hit your pants up and get it going. Yeah, easier said than done. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, he just made that. I cannot believe it. I was thinking he might get it close. Well, you can see why Bubba Watson, uh, Martin Keimer, Dustin Johnson have played well here. This finishing hole requires the long hitter's best tee shot, preferably just a little down the right side because that's the safer side to be. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Great pitch up. 